What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sneaky Tunes YouTube channel. Um, so I'm going to do this video real quick. Uh, I get a lot of questions about this when you guys purchase files and stuff from us or eTunes from us or anything of that sort. Um, so this is going to be a real simple step-by-step -step instruction of how to do the stuff that um, I ask you guys to do in the emails. Uh, that is like an auto response to you guys after you guys make a purchase. So um, grab your access port. And what you're going to do is plug this into the laptop. So once you guys got that plugged into the computer, what the next thing I ask you guys to do is to open Access Port Manager. So go ahead and double click on that. Once you have that open, the first thing I ask you guys to do in the email is to click on AP Info, Access Port Info, in Access Port Manager. Go ahead and open that. You're going to get this information that pulls up. This is a screen that I guess I uh, want you guys to take a photo of or screenshot the computer. Either way, I just need this information on this screen to complete your file. So that closed that window out, and you guys are going to have under this little drop down, click on Maps if it's not already open. Um, these are all your OTS maps that are on your access port currently, or at least they should be there. If they're not there, then uh, email me or DM me, and then I can explain to you how to uh, recover those. Um, so the next thing I ask you guys to do is to send me a copy of the OTS map that you're running on your vehicle, um, and send that to me via email. If you're running another company's tune, um, it doesn't matter which company, if it's not us, or it's not a... Cobb OTS map, I can't use it. Um, so please send me a copy of the Cobb OTS map that you would be using on the car if you weren't running someone else's file. So it's going to be one of these files. So really all you have to do, I'm just going to take this one for example, click on it, drag it over to your desktop, it's going to pop up over there. Add that to your email, to, to your response email to us, and that's pretty much it. Um, I get tons and tons and tons of questions about this. Uh, so I'm hoping this video helps you guys out, makes it a little easier. Um, the easier it is for you, the smoother this goes for you, the faster you can get the uh, information that we need to us, and then that means I can get the files over to you guys faster and it's a little bit smoother for you and I and it makes everybody happy. So. If you guys have any questions, like I said, email me or DM me, but this should be able to walk you guys through the initial steps of getting the files to us and getting files back to you uh, pretty quickly. Um, the same process is going to work if you want, if you need to put your file that we sent you onto your access port, same thing. Um, you just download it, save it to your desktop or a folder that you select on your computer, and then you literally do the same thing click on it, drag it into this box, boom, it drops it in there, that one's going to ask why do I want to put that in there when it's already a copy, but you get the point. So hopefully that guys helps you out. Thanks, like and subscribe as usual and give me a thumbs up and if you guys have any other suggestions, please let us know. Thanks.